The first thing you have to understand about older women is that they are as horny as guys who are, they are as horny as teenage boys. It's as simple as that. I mean, a, a, a woman who is 35, 37, 40, she is going to have a sex drive like there's no tomorrow. Fellas, let's talk about it. How to pursue an older woman. You heard me talk about it in the last video, 60% of younger guys are interested in pursuing older women. But how do you do it? You see that older woman over there, maybe at work, maybe she lives in your building, and you want to meet her. She's fit, feminine, and fun, just like you like. Three things. One, come straight at her. An older, experienced woman, she has no time for games, Say what you want, come straight up, tell her what you're all about, let her know you desire her, and take it from there. Number two, never call her a cougar. She's not a cougar, she's a woman. Number three, ignore the age difference. It's not a problem unless you make it a problem. If you want her, go after her. Follow for more. I've been exploring this theme for some time now and I have a very decent handle on what ladies want, not from just an individual point of view, but rather likewise from perusing endless articles and watching lots of ladies' videos. These are normal characteristics that ladies want in a man. Ladies, most importantly, want a man with a fashion instinct. Before you get all curbed up and say that the garments you wear shouldn't make any difference and what's within counts, reconsider. A new investigation of 2,000 ladies by a cleanser producer observed that unfortunate style is an issue. 60% of ladies said that taste in garments was the top dating major issue for them. One more review that was appointed by Men's Wellbeing magazine addressed in excess of 1,000 ladies aged 21 to 54 out of two separate web-based surveys. That survey found ladies rank a man's style as one of the best 10 qualities they desire in a man. One more review led by Kelton Exploration tracked down that by far most, 85% of ladies imagine that a man who dresses well is hotter than a man with a ton of cash. Likewise, 8 out of 10 ladies reviewed said that they would quit any trace of something in their lives, for example, going out to supper, their phone or even engaging in intimate relations for a whole year for a superior dressed accomplice. The general purpose is this. You don't need to carry on with your life getting things done in any desires for others' thought process of use, since you can do and wear anything you desire. Yet assuming that you are dating and if you want to meet individuals and be involved with somebody, if you're not focusing on the end that you put on your back, you're most likely messing yourself up. The next thing is similarity in the room. This is huge because if you need it constantly, and she doesn't, or the other way around, it's presumably not going to work out. Moreover, you both need to watch and like exactly the same things in the room. For instance, assuming she prefers playing with toys and watch trios constantly yet you don't, that will be an issue. You must figure out how to convey in the room if you don't as of now. Nothing bad can really be said about imparting what you like and how you like it. It's basically impossible to have the best closeness of your life than to speak with one another. Here is something else. Older ladies likewise may be encountering hormonal changes that can diminish sensation in their private parts. This implies she could require a more straightforward feeling to arrive at climax. So try and be available to the discussion since it isn't really about you. The more open you might both be about intimacy and what you both need, the better your intimacy at any point will be. The next exchange ladies want is personal strength. You're a developed man, my companion. However, if you actually have the profound courage of 15-year-old, it's to your greatest advantage to find ways to get yourself in the groove again. Life has a truly subtle approach to moving forward and kicking you straight in the teeth, and if you're not genuinely and intellectually ready for that particular sort of injury, it tends to be a truly unpleasant fact. I've been there and it sucks, believe me. The next one on my rundown is awesome. Ladies need a man who is propelled and has a reason throughout everyday life. All that I referenced so far ought to be identical things that you're searching for in a lady. You presumably don't need a lady who isn't driven or isn't spurred and lounges around the entire day and plays computer games. I'm expecting that you need a top-notch lady who can match you at your level and supplement your life. Having direction additionally implies not griping about all that and feeling that the world is barely on a mission to get you. The universe doesn't get up contemplating every one of the various ways they can hose you. If you got dealt to crappy hands, that sucks. 
Any case, what are you doing about it? Is it true or not that you are attempting to determine the issue, or would you say you are doing nothing other than grumbling about it? No one needs to associate with somebody who faults others for their circumstance. Having objectives and being persuaded and headed to going to those objectives is quite possibly the most appealing attribute anyone can have. The next is having a monetary security of some kind. Notice that I didn't say rich. Most ladies are not out there to get a complimentary lift. Men continue grumbling that the main thing that matters is a fat wallet. Here is some strong but fair affection, my companion. Folks without cash appear to be the only ones griping about ladies just wanting cash. Nothing bad can be said about a lady needing to have a solid sense of reassurance and safeguarded. It's our occupation as men to deal with that job and help accommodate a future likely family if we want one. Suppose that 10% of the whole female population just needs the rich folks. I'm expecting you would rather not date those ladies in any case, so why even grumble about it? Fortunately, 90% of the population is left over for you. Turn it around along these lines, could you need to engage with the lady without any earnings, with no work, with no inspiration, and nothing in the bank? I trust the response is no. You don't need to be stacked, you simply have to have something continuing and something that you're pursuing. This right returns to having direction and objectives and pursuing something. Next up is insight. You don't need to be an astrophysicist, yet you want to know how to hold a discussion and make them interesting to discuss. One of the most outstanding ways of having intriguing things to discuss is to more intrigue. Do additional fascinating things. Assuming you seldom step outside your usual range of familiarity, or then again if you seldom experience new spots or food or new activities, it is totally to your greatest advantage to invest some energy on the opposite side of your usual range of familiarity. What do you generally need to attempt? Go attempt it. This is an incredible spot to begin in light of the fact that once you begin carrying on with a euphoric and satisfied life all alone without the requirement for another person giving it to you, you'll start to track down your motivation. It's at that time that you draw in the ideal individuals to you. It won't be about how you can help me, but more about how we can complete one another along our past, and that is the lovely part. The next thing is having political likenesses. The last two or three years have produced an immense gap in political signs. It used to be that you can have a distinction of political assessment and regardless get along. Today, it appears if you have an alternate assessment, you're only absolutely off base and it goes to disdain actually rapidly. It never used to be like this, however tragically, this is the world that we live in the present moment. In the event that you're on some unacceptable side of the path as your accomplice, you can never discuss legislative issues in your home. This could be a significant wellspring of pressure in your family. Residing in similar house with somebody with various qualities is truly challenging, particularly if you're both obstinate and both defend yourself. If it's not too much trouble, leave a remark since I'm truly inquisitive to hear your considerations on this specific theme. In any case, up to that point, live well, remain sound and I truly do expect to see you again very soon.